So this is a teleprompter. This is a really, really useful device for helping remember your lines, remembering the script you wrote, or perhaps even just using it as bullet points. So if it's a script, you probably have it scrolling like this, or you may actually have bullet points just to help remind you what you're doing. Now, clearly, I'm not using it on this occasion because it's on the front here, and you can see the script. So I probably haven't got it word perfect. In fact, I'm probably miles off. But anyway, the teleprompter sits on the front of the camera. This could be a DSLR as well if you're using that for doing video or even a mirrorless camera. So this is really useful. But as a presenter, you do need to kind of get used to using this. And I've just got a few tips for you when you do come to actually use a teleprompter. One of them is, is if you do wear glasses, remember to bring them with. You may not need it because you can in fact change the font size so you can have a really big font and we're gonna talk about font size a little bit more in a moment. The other thing is, is you may not need it so you don't necessarily have to wear them. The other thing is, is when you write your script, write it in a tone that is actually how you speak. So you might re uh, write the script and then a really good idea is to read it out loud and you might find that you actually change it a bit. Once we put it on the teleprompter, and you can write it out in Word or Pages or anything where we can copy and paste it into here. Don't worry about formatting. You can use bullet points, that's absolutely fine. But just make sure you've got the text in there and possibly spaces in there too. Once it's on here, we can actually still amend it, but it's just easier to get it right in whatever word processor you're using first. So there's that. The other thing you need to do is get used to the speed. Now this is something that can take a while to get used to. So when you're actually reading this, what you're trying to do is keep your eyes in the center of the page or the center of the lens. What's great about a teleprompter is you can't see the lens and that puts people off sometimes when they're actually doing pieces to camera like this. So a teleprompter does actually uh, really help out there as well for people who don't like that. So you're trying to keep it there. So you might have to adjust the speed. Your tempo can change as you speak as well. And for that, I've actually got this remote control and you can pause it and you can see it's paused there and I can play it so the presenter can hold this or maybe they've got an assistant who can see what's going on. You can also adjust the font size as well. Now the font size is quite significant because it makes it easier to read. The bigger the fonts, the faster it scrolls and some people may not like that. So occasionally I get people who want the font size to be really small. There's one problem with that and that is your eye has to travel and read more words going across like this so there's more likelihood you'll see your eyes moving. But one way you can stop the audience from seeing that your eyes are actually moving and therefore reading the script is when you're delivering your lines, I'm going to exaggerate a little bit here, but if your head is moving or your body, then it mitigates the fact that people can actually see your reading because they don't actually notice your eyes are moving as well. So that's a really good thing to get used to. Watch newscasters and how they do it. They tend not to be still. They don't move a lot, but just enough. So don't sit there straight on at the camera, keeping your head perfectly still because then they may well notice that your eyes are moving. Let's just set that running again. Now I've got this so that it's actually scrolling as I talk. So, um, sorry, that did stop there. Let me press that again. So I've actually got this and it's going in a loop. So when it gets to the end, it just goes straight round again. So it might be that the first time through isn't quite right and it just continues on. You may want to pause and just rethink about it. But just remember that this is just a tool. It's still a good idea to know your subject, which I'm clear, sure that you do, that's pretty clear, but also just to go through your mind of what you're doing here. Now, the other thing that you could have, aside from having just bullet points, is potentially you could have a PowerPoint presentation and that could be connected up and you can then see what your presentation is. So the thing about the teleprompter, when we do come to shoot, and more and more people are asking me to shoot with these, is that you do need a little bit more time to set it up and get it ready and possibly more people to bring extra bits and pieces with it as well. So the one thing that I do tend to do is I tend to set the teleprompter and everything up so that if you're presenting, you can get used to it and make changes and things whilst I set up all the lights and things like that. So it's a good idea to kind of get there early. You can get prompter apps if you've got an iPad or a tablet so you can practice. It may not be the same one that I'm using, but if you contact me, I can tell you which one to use and then 
you'll kind of get be able to adjust the speed and know which one you've got right. But really a fantastic tool for presenting and I would highly recommend using it if you've got a lot to deliver. To be quite honest, some people don't like using them. They prefer to just talk like this, which I'm doing now. And perhaps they've just got a bit of paper or something with some bullet points on there. So thanks for watching. If you want to know more or if you would like me to come and video you, then please do get in touch.